Great Mother, in your aspect as Anahita, the ancient goddess of Persia, known for millennia as powerful, radiant, tall, beautiful, pure, and free. We women of the Goddess Temple together today make heartfelt prayers for life. We and those of good heart who wish to join us pray for your beautiful young daughter, Masa Amini, killed by evil and twisted men, men who have forgotten you, men who kill women for no reason but that they are women, men who fear woman's power, men whose pathetic excuse was that she, Masa, this one young and innocent woman, was not dressed properly according to their despotic and unreasoning rules. Anahita, goddess of the blooming lotus, your petaled eyes see all. You see these men calling themselves the morality police of Iran. You see that they falsely puff themselves up as so many average men have done for thousands of years, convinced of their own ego lies, telling each other that they are the rightful owners of women, that they have the right, nay, the duty, to order women, women their own mothers and birthers and nurturers, to order them as to what to wear, where to go, what to do, what to say, what to believe. You hear with your ears, of seashells, the lies they tell. These men, including Tehran police commander Hossein Rahimi, outrageously call her death an unfortunate accident, saying she had a heart attack, when the truth, as witnesses tell it, as you saw it, is that your daughter Masa Amini was dragged to a van by men, beaten by men, and shown on TV footage, collapsing. Great Mother Anahita, with the golden crown of stars upon your head, you are helping women of the world have the courage to rise up in protest, defiantly, bravely burning in bonfires in public squares, the head coverings, pathetic and spiritually weak men have forced them to wear and cutting their own hair before the entire town to show their overwhelming grief over men's widespread injustice. The gold of your crown shines in these fires of justice, of truth around which women gather now. Anahita, you know too well that we women have had enough of average men and their unjust laws upon us upon our bodies, upon our lives. Great Mother, you see that these men of the Iranian government led by President Ibrahim Raisi, a liar and an oppressor of women, have already killed many women protesters this week and have tried to shut down the internet in Iran to prevent women from speaking out about their abuse. You know, even as this miserable, wretched, lying man promises an investigation, that we women will never have justice at the hands of such men in their great palaces of control and abuse. But rather we must continue to rise as your stars in the night sky and claim our rightful place as guides of civilization. As men must now take their proper place in respectful silence to learn and recover their senses at the feet of our elder wise women. And now, Anahita, ancient goddess of the flowering lotus, you see that average men all over the world are joining in the criticism, not because they care about Masa or even women's abuse, for they perpetuate plenty of their own abuse of women in their own countries, but rather these men are shamelessly attempting to co-opt the worldwide feeling of outrage about this crime, to further their own ends, moving the conversation from the murder of Iranian women to anger over the effects of U.S. sanctions on the economy. You, Great Mother, see the truth, how women's real issues, issues of being murdered by men for nothing but the fact that we are women, 
are being, as usual, subsumed and erased in favor of men's concerns. Ancient and powerful Anahita, holding the sacred bundle of twigs of barsam, receive now the spirit of your daughter, Masa Amini. On your golden chariot, pulled by your four horses of wind, rain, cloud, and sleet, take her safely to your realm of stars, and in your softly flowing robes hold her close to your sweet and gentle bosom. Wrap her in your motherly blanket of eternal love and peace. Anahita of the heavenly river, you who provide all the waters of the rivers and streams of earth, pour now your healing waters upon your daughter, our sister, Masa Amini, that she may drink her fill and be nourished. Anahita, who is, as the old texts tell us, of the waters mighty and immaculate, you who are both divinity and mythical river, nourish and comfort also the grieving and stunned family of Masa. Hold them close, whisper to them that she lives, lives with you always in peace and beauty and love. Mighty Anahita, ultimate purveyor of justice, turn your implacable face of final authority to the men of this world who believe they are women's masters. Without false mercy, but with infinite compassion, gaze upon these men of evil, of ego, of arrogance, and pierce each heart to its core with your unappeasable sword of redress. Lifting forth your benevolent mirror of truth to their faces, show to these men the life-denying horror of their ways, horrors that by your eternal law must eventually return to them. Let their murders of innocent women, cruelties that pollute your holy waters, be reversed and visited upon them. Let them be awash in the realization of what they are doing. Let the egos of evil men be drowned in your sacred flood of crystal clean goodness. O oh, Anahita, Persian Aphrodite, who is also most ancient Saraswati, or she who possesses the waters, let your waters now flow upon the stagnant and pain-encrusted hearts of these men and cleanse them of arrogance, of self-righteousness, of ego, of the will to cruelty and conquering. Gaze also upon the good men of the earth and encourage them to action on behalf of all life. For those men who otherwise believe themselves to be good, should they not join us, should they choose not to bow to life and goodness as source. Let your justice be poured out in the same measure as for the men of evil, for silence and inaction in the face of cruelty is a bane and a blight upon life, and they shall no longer deserve the name good. Let all men see truth. Let men be free of depraved evil. Let men be free of disastrous error. Let men be free of foul corruption. Let men be free. And let women see that men are not rightfully our masters. Let all see the truth, that we may all be free. Great and ancient mother of all life, Anahita, one of your 10,000 thousand names, we women have spoken your bejeweled name. We have invoked your timeless spirit. We continue to walk your beauty path as best we can as human women, guiding our learning maidens, supporting our loving mothers, acknowledging our leading queens, bowing respectfully to our wise crones, and setting the wholesome boundaries men require to live decently upon your earth. This is our prayer. 
we, the women of the Goddess Temple of Orange County, we who with your power, your beauty, your goodness, your compassion are dedicated to the renewing of our desperate world, invoking the beauty of woman's wisdom. This is our prayer as we speak it now. This is our prayer as you hear it now. This is our prayer as it stands for all time. Great Mother, it is so, it is so, it is so, and so it is.